Hey guys, welcome to uh, the first installment of Eye of the Beholder. Now this is a uh, this is a recent port, I guess, if you really want to call it a port. It's not really a port because it's not taken from an arcade into another uh, genre or console or something like that. This was originally for PCs or IBM compatible, I think uh, is the way they, they actually phrased it back in the day. I used to have the five and a quarter floppies for this thing. Um, and I wish I would you I wish you guys would have seen it. Uh, before this, uh, this is a new one. It's put out by Watsi, Wizards of the Coast. Uh, it's a revamp of the 1990 uh, Strategic Simulations, Inc. and uh, Westwood Associates game, Eye of the Beholder. They came out for the original Advanced Dungeons & Dragons, and it works off the original Advanced Dungeons & Dragons uh, statistics and stats and all that stuff. All of the, the basic rules uh, that they could possibly put into a video game, this is what it works on. And what we've got here is not really a port, but it's it's a it's a revamp. Uh, and what the screen the screen basically what you're looking at, and there was a green thing up top uh, that was a, a it was a it was a measure like an anti piracy measure that said, hey, uh, when you get to this thing that says do this, do something else. And basically, what it is is you get to a point in the game, and it says turn into the instruction booklet to this page, and uh, with this symbol, and write down the fourth word on the fifth paragraph. And then that's like, a, okay, you do own the game, congratulations, and it lets you continue. This basically said, yeah, don't worry about that. Just type anything you want to and keep on going. So I thought that was kind of neat that they added that in there. Because I played this game uh, on not on this machine, but on another machine uh, within the past year or so, I think. And uh, I I never really noticed that. So I thought that was kind of cool. So we're going we're gonna to hit VGA, and we're going to do the Sound Blaster. Uh, and yes, I want to use the mouse because I'm not a fucking idiot. Alright, and here we go with some... Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Westward Associates, yeah. And then you go and it says, and... Strategic Simulations, Inc. Yay! Um, yeah. Official Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Now, I know in 1990 they had second edition was already out, so... I don't know why they chose the original Dungeons & Dragons to do this. But whatever. Um, let's see if this does an intro. Yeah, it's gonna do an intro. I'll just, I'll let this sit for a minute. I'll let you guys, uh, check this out. I'm gonna try to speed through it, though. By pressing the space bar, you can speed through this stuff. Um, well, actually, I'm gonna let it play, because I'm gonna tell you while you're, while you're viewing this. This is, uh, in the Forgotten Realms campaign setting, uh, that they came out with in the 80s. I think it was the 80s. Uh, Waterdeep is the name of the town, and it's been a it's been a Forgotten Realms campaign setting. And now in Fifth Edition, the Fifth Edition of Dungeons and Dragons that they have right now, uh, they've gotten back to Forgotten Realms and Waterdeep and Neverwinter and and Daggerford and all those areas. Uh, so I think it's neat that 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 I'm playing this. You know, this was this is pretty neat back in the day for all this stuff. A lot of people make fun of this stuff. I thought it was cool. I, like I said, I played this just about on uh, a computer. I think it was, uh, I'm trying to think of what they call it, a 186, I think was the name of it. It was like 186 meg. And I was like, oh, that was super fast, you know. It was crazy. Or 1.86 meg, something like that. It, it was fast for the day. And that's all you needed to play this. So, yeah, that was the... That's the thing, man. And I still remember playing, uh, you know, the Elder Scrolls stuff. I played, I didn't play Arena. I know Elder Scrolls 1 was Arena, and I never played that. But I did play Daggerfall, and that was really cool, because that's one of the first games you could, it was almost like open world. You could pretty much do whatever the hell you wanted to. Climb on top of buildings and kill random, random fuckers. It was kind of neat. Assassinate just random people. Of course, the, the Dark Brotherhood would come after your ass if you did it. So yeah, that's the introduction, um, and I'm... I tried to load a game in progress that I thought I had saved. Uh, apparently, I did not. As you see, that it's funny there. If you look down at the bottom, it says "Exit to DOS." Yeah, because Windows was not a thing yet. You got to remember, this is pre-Windows, guys. This is this is old shit. Five and a quarter floppies. This is when this is back when floppies were in fact floppy. Okay, it's not just a a, 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 a phallic term. Okay, this, the, the floppies were actually floppy at one time. So we're going to start a new party. We're not going to get too much into this. I don't want to I don't get too much into it. Uh, so basically, um, what you want to do is try to create a well-balanced party. 
Um, and this is also using, like I said, original Advanced Dungeons and Dragons rules. So you really want to, uh, you really want to be kind of stereotypical with it. So we're going to do a dwarf male fighter up front. We're just going to do a straight up fighter. Um, I'm just going to make them, the alignment really doesn't matter, at least not that I found. Um, and the alignment, that's something you're going to, if you don't understand this, let me know. Because I, I understand there, each, each section, like the, the first section has a meaning and the second section. And the first section is like lawful, neutral, and chaotic. Lawful, neutral, chaotic, and true, right? And the second is like good, neutral, and evil, right? And they each they each lean different ways. I'm sure you guys have seen some memes that uh, that echo that sentiment. So I'm not gonna bother to go into that. Uh, I'm just gonna make mine chaotic, neutral, just because it doesn't matter. You can do any fucking thing you want to, pretty much. Um, and I'm not worried about what the hell they. Well, I guess I am kind of worried about. Yeah, that looks like it. Well, that's a dwarf, but that's not. I want a dwarf fighter. I want a bad looking dude. Where's a dwarf fighter? Come on. Yeah! That's a dwarf fighter. Uh, now, um, here's the part where you get the stats. Now, normally in, in, a, in a tabletop RPG, uh, specifically Dungeons and Dragons, you will roll three to four uh, six sided die, and that will give you uh, eight up to 18. I, I, I know I said 4d6 for a uh, six-sided die. You take the lowest away, or take, yeah, take the lowest away and then re-roll any ones. It, it, it really depends on your DM. I try to be really, uh, really generous with my players when I'm running them through a game because I, I'd like them to succeed. Uh, so I'm, I really try to give them the most benefit, because these are heroes, guys. These these guys that you're playing, the, the player characters, the PCs, as it were, these are supposed to be the ultimate, you know, the penultimate badasses of this world. So why not give them the most advantage you can without just straight up, you know, whatever. So, um, with that being said, um, you've got uh, all these things here. Now, for a fighter, you definitely want good strength. Uh, dex is okay, because that'll give you a good armor class. And then constitution will give you uh, more hit points. So you definitely want these, that one, dex and con. Strength, dex, strength, dexterity, and constitution. You want those three to be high in a fighter. So let's see if we can, oh crap. See, now here's, everything's above average, right? But it's, but you only have one, you don't really have anything above a 14. That's kind of garbage. So let's, uh, oh man, that's really not working. Uh, okay, yeah, check this out. Check this out. This is, this is not too bad. So, strength to 15, that's that's pretty respectable. Uh, intelligence doesn't really matter for a fighter. Dex is 15, con's 12. I don't know if that'll give you any bonuses, but I don't think it'll give you any negatives. And hit points of 12. So, again, there's, uh, there's some stuff there that may or may not do you any good. Um, but, we're going to go ahead and go with it. Because that's just what I think we should do. So we're gonna go with that, and yeah, I, th I think we're well. Hell, you know, I screw it. Oh shit! Oh, that worked out worse. Let's. I wanna. I want a good strength. God bless America. This is terrible, guys. What the shit? Yeah, we're man. God bless America. This is, this is, you just keep re-rolling until you get something you like, man. Strength of 16 would have been okay, but, man. What is that? Con of, eight, ooh, con of 18. That gives you a lot more hit points. And strength of 15. Uh, charisma 9. You can be an asshole. Or just really ugly. That's fine. Let's, let's keep that. We're gonna keep that. Um, what are we gonna name him? We'll name him Gruff. Because he, he kind of looks gruff. So we'll have that guy, and then we'll start the next one. Uh, the next one, you kind of want, uh, you kind of probably, let's see, uh, you got a dwarf. Um, and we're going to try a, a thief-type character, and with thief, you definitely want some some slippery shit. Uh, so we'll go with, like, a, a an elf male. Uh, well, we'll see, half-elf or elf? 
because elves kind of give you more decks and stuff, so it's really good to have a, uh, what I'm trying to do is like a rogue type character, a thief. So elf's really good to do with that. Well, we'll do elf, and we'll do just a straight up, uh, let's see, fighter thief. Oh, fighter mage thieves are really good, but they gain, they gain levels really slow. Um, we'll just go with straight up thief. We'll do, we'll, we'll do it old school. And we'll, again, chaotic neutral. And let's pick a, what does he look like? Yeah, that looks like a dashing rogue. Um, <clears throat> so Dex is 16. That's not bad. Um, but let's let's see if we can get it. Holy shit. That's almost horrible. Uh, but the Dex is 17. You really want your Dex and your Charisma to be pretty good. The Constitution's garbage, though. Um, man. Let's see, what do we got? That's not horrible. That's not horrible. Uh, that's, that's pretty even, man. Everything's above average. Everything's above average. Well, we're gonna keep that. Um, I'm gonna name him... Phineas. And I used to play a character named Phineas back in the day. He was a fighter mage thief. Uh, best of all worlds. But we're gonna keep this guy. Uh, we're gonna do a mage back here. He needs to be a human male. And we're gonna do... Uh, again, chaotic neutral. And we want... Uh, real dark. I like the purple guy versus purple guy. I know he's in here. That's an evil looking motherfucker, isn't it? It's like some Rob Zombie looking bastard. Uh, but I want the purple guy because he always looks so cool, man. Look at that. Like, I'm, I'm mystical and I'm badass. Uh, Ents, 14. Dix, 15. Con, 11. That's not horrible. Actually, we're, we'll, we'll keep that. That's that's good enough. Uh, let's see. Mage. Um, let's think of something real quick. Um, nothing. <laughs> Gamian. And really, it, it's kind of like, game on! So, I don't know. It, it just seems kind of funny. And we definitely need a cleric, because we need a healer. So we'll do a half-elf for that. And we'll do a cleric. Uh, again, chaotic neutral. And we'll just... I like that. There was one cat back here somewhere. Yeah, it was kind of like all spiritual and shit. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's keep that. Um, what are we going to call this guy? Healer bot kind of a character, a like nice healer. Uh, it needs to be a, like a soft name, like you would expect somebody to be really soft. Praetorus. I don't, I, that may be something, I don't know. So, here we go guys, we, we got our first party going here, and uh, we'll, we'll actually, that's, that's the character creation in, in a nutshell. And we could go into a lot more detail, we'll just leave it. Uh, so we're going to leave that there, and uh, yeah, that, that's going to be the end of that, and we'll, uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Let's play some games.